I'm super excited because I have applied this type of settings in my VMware workstation. Welcome back guys. This will be a very short video because most of you have asked me to explain how my internal devices are able to reach internet. Yes, this type of settings is really helpful for your lab in a VMware workstation when you have a topology with perimeter firewall and you want to test the firewall rules for incoming and outgoing traffic. You will get a variety of options to map either physical interface or Wi-Fi interface or loopback interface. Let me show you how you can apply these settings on your VMware workstation. Follow me for a step by step process to apply the changes. First, go to the VMware workstation software. Now, click on edit. Then, virtual interface editor. You can see it has popped up the new window. However, everything is grayed off and cannot make changes as of now. So to make the changes, you have to click here, change settings. Now you can see same window has been appeared, but at this point we can make the changes. If you want to add a new network adapter, use the option add network or if you want to remove any network adapter, use the option remove network. So generally we have VMNet 0, VMNet 1, VMNet 8 and if you want to add any new adapter, just click add option and here you have a multiple VMNet adapters. So if you want to add VMNet 2, select VMNet 2 and then click OK. And if you want to add VMNet 10, then choose the option VMNet 10 and then click OK. So I'm not going to add anything here. I'm happy with the adapters VMNet 0, 1 and 8. Now, the next point is by default, all your network adapters will display automatically here. If in case any adapter is not visible, you must check the settings for the adapter or reload your desktop or laptop. So right now I have selected Intel R Wi-Fi 6 AX201 160 MHz. So this is my Wi-Fi adapter that I have already selected. And if you want to select your LAN network, so LAN network for me will be Intel R Ethernet connection. The same you can verify using the command prompt. Let me show you. So you execute the command CMD and again execute the command ipconfig all. So here you can see that my Wi-Fi or wireless LAN adapter is Intel R Wi-Fi 6AX201 160 MHz. And the same adapter I have selected here. If I make a topology in EVNG simulator and connect any device to the bridged interface, the device will get an IP address from the broadband router. If you are using desktop and you don't have Wi-Fi adapter on it and you are using internet connection through the LAN port, then you can select the LAN adapter here in that case also your internal EVNG enabled devices will get the IP address from the broadband or you can assign it manually it's up to you now in case you have messed up everything and you don't know what to do now in that case what you have to do is you just click the option restore defaults and it will destroy the settings which you have applied and the default settings will be applied to each interface, either it's VMNet 0, VMNet 1, and VMNet 8. Once you are done, just click on apply and then OK. Now let me quickly turn on the machine. So you can see that the home broadband router has assigned an IP address to AVNG machine. 
Now you can use the same IP address to log in in EVNG. So I'm going to use 192.168.1.7. Now supply the username and the password. The default username is admin and the default password is E. So let me close this topology and we'll create a new one. So I'm going to create an internet testing. Just writing any jargon here. Save, click node, any device you can pick up. I'm going to pick up uh, L2 switch. Now you have to click on network. Use the option management cloud zero. Save it and then connect. Let me tell you what exactly happening here. So you can consider this is a Wi-Fi Ethernet adapter. So this particular icon is giving you opportunity to bridge your physical interface on Wi-Fi network. So let's turn on this router. And go to secure CRT. Now we can successfully access the switch. I'm going to take a VLAN ID 1 and we'll assign the IP address on VLAN 1 interface. So interface VLAN 1, IP address 192.168.1. One I'm going to take it 45 and since it is a slash 24 interface, since it has slash 24 subnets, so I'm going to use slash 24 subnet mask. Click exit or just apply the command no shutdown and then exit. Now it's time to test whether I'm able to ping broadband router IP address or not, which is 192.168.1.1. So let's try this one. See, I can access the 192.168.1.1 IP address. Now, whether I'm able to access google.co.in domain. So ping google.co.in. You can see that I cannot access google.co.in domain. So what you have to do is you have to apply one more settings on your device to tell who is your gateway. So if you want to reach any other IP address apart from this subnet, you must tell to your device who is your gateway. So my gateway is 192.168.1.1. So to apply the default route on this switch, the command is IP route 0 .0 .0, 0 .0 .0, and then gateway IP address. That's it. Now you can try to reach google.co.in domain from this switch. So google.co.in. Now you can see I can access google.co.in domain. I hope you enjoyed this video. If the video is worth watching for you, then please subscribe the channel and leave your comment. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.